name's Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make something look ribbed in Illustrator. So what I've done here is I've drawn a rounded uh, squ uh, square tool shape, but um, it doesn't. It, it, I'm just going to represent a sleeve or a shirt uh, sweater sleeve in this instance, um, and I'm going to draw a line across. And you can you can draw any kind of line. You can use the pen tool to do this. Um, the only reason I'm choosing the line tool is because this is just like a straight up shape. It's, it doesn't have a particular form. It's just um, a square, a rounded square or rectangle. So then you're going to want to go to dashed line, which is in the stroke panel. And it's got this illustration that's a dead giveaway that it's the stroke panel. Um, and depending on how big your square or rectangle is, you're going to want bigger points. So for example, mine's at 80 right now, and it's still too small, so maybe if we do 100, even still too small, so I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, just so it'll fit. And so in this little panel, in the dashed line panel, you have the option to change the dash and the gap, so I've made my dash three points and my gap five points, but this can change if you want it to, um, to make it closer together or further away. As you see, as I've changed the point from five to three, it's gotten much smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that back to five, just so that it's a little easier to see. And then you're going to copy and paste this rectangle shape you've drawn, delete it, add another layer, and make sure that layer is on top. Just paste it, put it right on top of that shape, select it all, and then push control, click or right click, and you can make a clipping mask, and instantly it'll just make the ribbing shape um, directly around the uh, sweater cuff. And this is how you rib something in Illustrator. I'm Alex Cecilio. Thank you very much.